I did not see you there. Welcome to the second episode of the Church Vlogs. Today we're in Iowa. We're about to play 515 Alive in Des Moines, or as we call it, Des Moines. And before we head there, I'm about to attempt something very dangerous. Don't do this at home. For the first time ever, I'm going to do a backflip on camera. Karel, if something happens, call an ambulance. I'm really doing this. I'm kidding. I have no fucking clue how to do a backflip. So uh, what we're gonna be doing is play bass music. See you at 515. <laughs> So church fam, we just finished playing at 515. It was amazing. We're gonna head to the meet and greet right now and I had a pretty stupid idea, but also a very funny idea. We're gonna scare fans while we're taking photos. I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking, but still, a little photo shoot and a little scare is exactly what you need in your life right now. Let's go. Once I found out you were coming to my home state, I was like, I have to fucking see them. And so I made this for you, man. That's amazing. I made this for you. Getting there. Oh, what's up, church fam? I'm with the homie Davin. What's up? Davin, say hello to the church fam. Hello, church fam. I got a question. How do you prepare for a set? What's your uh, mental game? What's your physical preparation? You know, me, I like to sit very quietly in a corner by myself <laughs> and slowly sip on a glass of whiskey. I've seen him, I've seen him do that, but That's... no, but for real, do you have like a routine before you go on? The first part of that was very true. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Davin is really the sad boy number one, numero uno. Before a show, he sits alone, quietly in a corner, and sips 100%. whiskey. Thousand percent true. All right, and yes. and if you have a big, big festival, is there some kind of like game plan for the week before? Is there stuff that you prepare? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'll I'll try to make some cool edits. I'll I'll practice the set like thousands of times. You know, I really like to make sure that I've the seen sets, him do that like practice all day. You know, try to make sure those big sets go well. So, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm really proud of you. You've I'm come proud a long of you way, too, man. You want to hug it out? Absolutely. Hug it out. Love you. Love you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> The fuck? Yo guys, we were driving from 515. We're going to Oklahoma right now, but we're staying in Lawrence, Kansas, and we just drove through the craziest thunderstorm. And you know what this means? Corel has dared me to run in the parking lot. <laughs> no, I can't do that. All right, what's up guys? I am with the one and only Thanos of EDM, Mr. Kai Muscle Watchy. <laughs> so, if you know Kai, you know he loves going to the gym. Uh, as touring artists, we're hitting the gym as much as possible because it's really hard to find a good routine on the road. I'm here with Kai because I want to ask you, man, do you have some kind of health and gym routine that you take with you on the road when you're traveling? Yeah, so I have to hit the gym at least five to six days a week. Sometimes I'll be on the road the entire week, so I can't make any excuse. Even if we have a small gym, I uh, I don't make excuses, I make results. So we'll do anything from- <laughs> I like that. <laughs> no excuses, <laughs> just results. We'll start doing push-ups, pull-ups. I mean, the craziest I've gotten, I've done pull-ups on some branches because I, I had to hit my back that day. No excuses, right? So, yeah, because we hear a lot of fans at home 
they're gonna say like, oh, gym membership is really expensive. Uh, but no, you can, honestly, if you YouTube some good gym uh, tutorials, you can find a lot of people that will train with whatever they have around mm -hmm. them. Even in parks, you know, they'll go running. Um, but, you know, I know at home you're, you have a very strict routine, you know? Yeah. Uh, how is it to eat on the road? Is that hard? Oh, that's the hardest part. Eating, trying to eat clean on the road is the hardest part. Oftentimes when I tend to fall off, it's because I go on the road and I'm like, yo, I'll have the chicken strips. Yeah, I'll get the fries. And then the next morning, I'm like, look at those pancakes. I can vouch for that. Look at those pancakes. <laughs> Cracker barrel pancakes. So it's all about trying to find balance. So like when you're on the road, you stop by a gas station, try it. If you want something sweet, maybe try going for like a protein bar versus the Milky Way. It's not gonna taste as good. But, you know, at least you can feel these bad boys a little bit versus the sugar that's almost think, right here. I think at the end of the vlog, we're going to we're gonna open up your luggage and show it what you travel. Because he's got, like, so much protein powder and creatine and all the stuff in the world. Um, but, yeah, so, you know what? Uh, at this point, I think I, I've known you for a little while. Yep. And I know that you take care of your health. I've been doing the same. And it has so many benefits. We're touring Axe. Um, you're at home, you have no excuses. If we can do it on the road, you can do it at home. Let's hit the gym. Let's do it. Can I take my shirt off? Uh, no, you keep your shirt on. Let's go. Kai, I said, wear a shirt at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching episode two of the Church Vlogs. It really means a lot to be able to bring you on the road with us. By the way, if you like this vlogging series, make sure to click like, to subscribe to Catamount Records, and in the comments, let me know names of artists that you want us to interview in the next few weeks. We're about to play Daydream Festival in Oklahoma City, and it's about to be lit. Lit. Is that what people say, Karel? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. It's about to be lit. Make the crowd shake like a f***ing earthquake. Thank you. Here you go, boss. Thanks, man.